welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Erica and welcome to a little Banff vlog adventure. So we are leaving for Banff today. So in this video, I'm gonna take you along our travel day and take you on our first day in Banff. So I first went to Banff in September of 2023 and now it's beginning of April, 2024. And I'm already going back because this place is just absolutely gorgeous. And we wanted to see it in like a winter wonderland. So it's gonna be me, my brother, and my fiance who are traveling together on this little weekend adventure. And I'm so, so excited to take you guys along. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go to Banff. Okay, I think we're all packed up to go, but some really weird reason, we tried to check in on our flight and it said you had to come to the airport. Like it wouldn't let us check in. I've never seen that before. I thought that was so strange. Let me know if that's ever happened to you. I'm wondering if it's because it's like an international flight and they're trying to like get people to get to the airport like sooner rather than later. But I just thought that was so weird. Like yesterday we tried to check in, today we tried to check in and it just like wouldn't let us, very weird. When we arrived to the airport and we checked our luggage and checked in, they said, yeah, sometimes you're not able to check in online. If it's an international flight, because they need to check your passport. So that was our answer there. But we got all checked in and checked our bags in. We checked into our flight, checked our bags, and then we had a little glass of wine at the wine bar here at the Detroit airport, which is like a ritual for us. And now it's time to board our first flight. So we do have a connection in Minneapolis, but now it's time to board our first flight. So let's go. I guess pouring a can of wine into a cup is not my strong suit. I spilled it everywhere. <laughs> okay, so we have arrived in Minneapolis, but the bad news is our flight keeps getting delayed. So it's about five o'clock here, and we were supposed to fly out at seven. Then it got delayed till eight o'clock, and now it's like 9.45. So that kind of sucks, because when we arrive, so we're flying into Calgary, but once you arrive in Calgary, Calgary, you have to drive an hour to Banff. So it's just gonna be a long night. So we're just kind of going through the airport, figuring out what we want to eat, what we want to do. And yeah, that's the situation. Okay, this is super random, but you have to see this bathroom in the Minneapolis airport. They just like literally thought of everything. There's like little cubbies, like an actual like cubby to put your suitcase in. I feel like all airport bathrooms need to do this. I know in the Detroit airport bathrooms, they do not have this and the bathrooms are so skinny and narrow and it's like so hard to get your luggage in there and use the bathroom. So good job, Minneapolis. Here is our flight update. It has been delayed again to 10.30 now? 10 what? 34. 10.34. And that means we would get into Calgary at 12.30. 12.38, sorry, you wanna be very precise. And the car rental place is open till 1 a.m. Exactly. Exactly 1 a.m. So, um, send a prayer that we make it, cause like, yikes. But the flight, it was coming from Miami, is in flight right now, so that's good but um, we just had some dinner. We're just drinking some wine and we have over two hours until we board. Drink up. Mm, lovely. Josh just found a very interesting candy. Giant, giant lollipop. What is it? I think it's a lollipop. What does it say? At the duty free store we're at, trying to kill time. Chupa, chupies. Oh, never heard of that, wow. Wait, tell them why you're upset though about Oh my god, we gotta go find a Okay, go uh, go show them. We're gonna go show you. Okay, but first you have to explain what happened to you during security. Yeah. Story time. Story time. You ready? Alright, so I was going through security, right? Mm -hmm. See this hair? We oh, obviously wow. have to put some gel in it. Right? Obviously, obviously, obviously. So the gel bottle is probably about yay big. No, it's smaller than that. No, it's about this big. Okay, Seriously, his his hair gel bottle, yeah. It's decent. It's a uh, Henry's. I don't know what the brand is. Okay, but well, the point is, you but got anyways, stopped in security. Yeah, and I got. They were telling me that the, my gel bottle had mm -hmm. too much liquid in it mm -hmm. that I couldn't carry it on the plane. Mm -hmm. Fast forward now, we're in duty free store. They're selling bottles that are thirteen fluid ounces. Even bigger. Thirteen fluid ounces. So, so our question is, how come we can buy this 
and take it on the plane, but when we went to go through security, we couldn't even take anything half the size of this. If anyone knows the answer, I'm really curious. Please let us know down in the comments, but yeah, Josh is pretty fired up about it after <laughs> looking in the duty-free store of all the like liquids you can get here, so yeah. We are finally boarding the plane. We're gonna be so exhausted when we land, so we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Yes, we made it to Banff. It was a long night. We drove literally through a snowstorm to get here. It probably took us over an hour and a half to get to Banff and like you could barely see the road. We were just following a semi truck for the longest time, just hoping that they knew where they were going and paving the way, but we made it. We got in at 3 a.m. Um, Calgary or Banff time, but that was 5 a.m. Michigan time to us. So we were so tired, oh my gosh. But we're here, we are slept in, we are showered, we're feeling a lot better than we were yesterday. And now it is time to show you where we're staying. Guys, we are staying at the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel, which is literally a castle in the mountains. It's like a super historic hotel. This is 100% a bucket list stay, and I am so thankful and blessed to be able to stay here. Um, we got a really good rate on this room this time of year. Usually the rooms are like really, really expensive, but ours first week in April was about 400 a night. So honestly, kind of a steal for this room. And yeah, I we just woke up today. We just ordered room service and I'm excited to explore more of the hotel and I will show you like a little room tour. All right, we're feeling, it's, it's a video, not a fiction. <laughs> We were feeling like kings and queens with the little room service. We never do this, but like, we thought, why not? I got, let me see what you got. Ooh, that looks so good. A breakfast sandwich with chicken, I think. Oh, yum. Okay. And then you got tea and I got some juice and then I got, ooh, the eggs Benedict. Yum. I think what we need to do is move the plates over, there. over to the table. Cause like, yeah, that, that needs to happen. <laughs> up our lovely breakfast and Josh is trying to figure out how to move the little cart out into the hallway but uh, I want to give you guys a very very quick room tour before we go and explore the hotel so walking in first you have a nice full-length mirror and then turning around to the left we have the bathroom now I will say this bathroom is very small like I'm trying to like show you kind of how small it is. It's really just for one person. Um, yeah, so don't exactly love that, but it's a really nice bathroom, really nice amenities. Like they gave us, you know, I love when you get full bottle lotion, full bottle shampoo, conditioner, all that good stuff. So yeah, that's kind of the bathroom. And then moving out of the bathroom, right across we have closet very big closet so there's not this is like all the storage space so you have these shelves up here which are really nice so I just put like my packing cubes up there and then put my suitcase there so it's a really nice basically like walk-in closet so that's nice and then moving on a little stool right here bed which was very comfortable we both slept really good in that little nightstands of course we have our table and chairs over there where we're where we had breakfast tv and then this here is a fridge in here and then the other side is like kind of coffee stuff so i'm a little bummed there's not like shelves to put your clothes in like this is more just like for drinks and food but uh, you do have that really nice big walk-in closet right there so yeah and then let's take one last look at that at that view and then the next on the agenda we're gonna go ahead and explore the hotel I feel very fancy because I have my little cup of tea I'm gonna bring it with me because I'm in a castle and I'm gonna pretend I'm a princess
I will say sometimes when you see really cool hotels like this, like, oh my gosh, it looks like a castle on the outside, you don't always get that same feel on the inside, but here at the Fairmont Banff Springs, you totally do. I was honestly blown away by how castle-like it felt on the inside too. And I think my favorite room in the whole hotel was this like great hall. Well, it gave me the vibes of like the great hall in Harry Potter and it was just so beautiful in there. Um, one of the days at the hotel, they had like a conference in there. I'm sure there's many weddings in there as well. And this hotel also has so much to offer. There's countless restaurants here. Our favorite was the Rendell Bar, which we literally went to every night. Uh, there's also shopping, a spa, uh, indoor, outdoor pool. Like they really thought of everything. And I love that they had resort activities every day. We didn't have a chance to take part in them, but I thought it was so amazing that they provided all these activities. Another really cool part of the hotel is like all the history behind it and they have the section with all these old photographs and shows like what the hotel looked like back in the day and also really famous people that have stayed there such as Marilyn Monroe, which was so cool to see. After we explored the hotel, we decided to go to Bow Falls, which is very close to the hotel. Honestly, we could have walked there, but we just decided to drive. Um, I love Bow Falls. This is one of the first things we saw our, on our first trip to Banff, and it's just a beautiful area, beautiful falls, and gorgeous landscape. There's also a little trail along the river that you can walk, which is really, really pretty as well. And we just wanted to take in the views. I mean, we were so lucky that the night before it snowed. Well, not so lucky because we had to drive through it, but lucky that in the morning it looked like honestly a snow globe. It was so pretty. I think my favorite thing in the whole world is snow on the trees. Like that is just the most pretty thing in the whole world. Next on the agenda, we're gonna ride the Banff gondola up to Sulphur Mountain. So we did this in September, and we wanna do it again this time of year to see the snow, obviously. And I definitely recommend getting your tickets in advance. I'll have the website linked down below. Um, it was about, I think, 60 Canadian dollars per person for us to ride up there. It's about a 10 minute ride up. And then once you get up there, there's restaurants and like a little exhibit and kind of like a boardwalk to walk around and take in the views. And on our trip this time, we're gonna have drinks at the Sky Bistro restaurant. Um, it opens at four o'clock, so it's about three o'clock right now. We're gonna take the gondola up, walk around a little bit, and then have some drinks. The Banff gondola is also very close to the Banff Springs Hotel, which was awesome. So it was just a quick drive again, and I really love the gondola. I think they did such a nice job with this. I mean, there's like a little gift shop, there's a Starbucks, another coffee shop, multiple restaurants, and I love the exhibit once you get to the top. It's sort of like talking about the history of Banff, also about the landscape, the nature there, the animals and everything, and it's just really a great place, and I highly recommend, especially on your first trip to Banff. Now, something kind of crazy that happened when we went up to the top, we were gonna check in at our reservation at the Sky Bistro, but they were booked for a private event that day, even though I had a reservation. So that was kind of weird, but we just went to the other restaurant, which is the Northern Lights restaurant instead, and it still has those same incredible views. So we grabbed a little drink there. And then coming down the Banff gondola, you can see the Banff Springs Hotel in the distance. After the gondola ride, we went to downtown Banff, also very close to the hotel and the gondola. So everything's very close in proximity right here that I've been showing you guys today. I love downtown Banff. There's so many great shops and restaurants and we were really excited because we were gonna check out a new restaurant tonight and that was the Bluebird. 
First of all, I love the vibes inside Bluebird. It was like being in a like log cabin. I thought it was so pretty and chic in there. And also the Bluebird is known for their prime rib. So uh, to start, we started off with an appetizer, the cheesy donuts, which changed my life. Oh my gosh, they were amazing. The steak tartare. I did get the salmon because I wasn't in the mood for prime rib, but Josh and my brother both got the prime rib slider and it was delicious. I did have a bite of that. Then to close out the night, we headed back to the hotel to the Rendell Bar where we had some espresso martinis that were absolutely delicious as you can see by my reaction. Well everyone, that is a wrap on this vlog today. It was a really good day. I think my favorite part might have been just like exploring the castle and like having breakfast with our view and everything. Um, but yeah, gosh, I love Banff and even in the winter time, it is absolutely gorgeous. But this is not the last Banff vlog. So there's gonna be another video. It's gonna have some more hikes in it. We're gonna go to Lake Louise, Johnson's Canyon. Josh is gonna go snowboarding. So we'll show you a little bit of that. So definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about Banff, please feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. You cut me loose and set me free.